now let us discuss about tcp header format the size of tcp header ranges from 20 to 60 bytes tcp header contains options field if options field is not included then the size of the tcp header is 20 bytes whereas if options field is included then the maximum size of the tcp header is 60 bytes if we observe the fields first field is source address source port address which is of size 16 bits 16 bits means 2 bytes so 2 plus next destination port address is also of size 16 bits so that is nothing but 2 bytes next sequence number size is 4 bytes next acknowledgement number size is 4 bytes next header length size 4 bits reserved bits 6 bits and totally we have 6 flags so 6 plus 6 12 12 plus 4 12 plus 4 16 16 bits is nothing but 2 bytes window size capacity is 16 bits so 2 plus 2 means 4 bytes next to check sum 16 bits urgent pointer 16 bits so 2 bytes plus 2 bytes 4 bytes so 4 plus 4 8 8 plus 4 12 12 plus 4 16 16 plus 4 20 so if options field is not included then the size of the tcp header is 20 bytes whereas we if we want we can include some optional information uh, so that size maximum size is 40 bytes so options field maximum size is options field size ranges from 0 to 40 bytes okay if 40 bytes are included then the maximum size of the tcp header is 60 bytes now let us see about all the fields one by one so first one is source port next one is destination port we know that tcp uses process to process communication so process to process communication so uh, process to process communication means a process on source host can communicate with a process on destination host with the help of the port numbers here the source port is it is an address source port address contains uh, 16 bits it defines the source port number of it defines the port number of source process on source host machine likewise destination port address is also of 16 bits which defines port number of destination process which resides in destination host and the next field is sequence number which is of size 32 bits let's see what is the use of the sequence number here we know that uh, uh, tcp uses segments for the data transmission uh, in uh, ip that is uh, in network layer in network layer the data will be transmitted in the form of packets whereas in data link layer the data will be transmitted in the form of frames so likewise tcp uses segments for transmitting the data segment means a collection of bytes so what is a segment segment is a collection of bytes so let us assume that here the process on source host mission transmitted a segment to the uh, process on the destination host mission here that uh, segment uh, ranges from 9001 to 10,000 bytes here the size of the segment is 1000 bytes 1000 bytes so here the data ranges from 9001 to 10,000 sequence number always specifies the first byte of the segment here this is the segment what is the first byte of the segment 9001 so here the sequence number for this segment is 9001 so 9001 is the sequence number for this uh, for this segment so that is about sequence number sequence number field specifies uh, the first byte of the segment 
now let us see about acknowledgement number here after the receiver receives the after the receiver receives a segment from the source it sends an acknowledgement to the source here that acknowledgement is nothing but the byte number plus 1 so here what is the last byte of the segment 10000 so 10000 plus 1 is nothing but 10001 so receiver sends acknowledgement as 10001 it specifies that receiver is expecting a segment from the source machine where that segments where that segment sequence number is 10001 so here the point is let sender sends a byte to the receiver let that byte sequence number is x let that byte sequence number is x then the receiver receives that segment from the sender and it provides an acknowledgement called x plus 1 to the sender so it specifies that now receiver is expecting a segment from the sender where the first byte of that segment is x plus 1 so now if you see here 10001 is the acknowledgement so after receiving that acknowledgement sender sends a segment to the receiver where the first byte of the segment is 10001 so this is about acknowledgement number so it is also of type 16 bits so it specifies that that acknowledgement specifies that receiver is expecting a segment from the sender where the first byte of that uh, uh, segment is that number acknowledgement number uh, next one is header length the size of the header length is 4 bits so 4 bits means maximum we can have so 4 bits 4 bits so 4 bits means let we have 4 ones here so what is the decimal number for 4 ones 15 bits 15 bits but what is the size of the tcp header here the maximum size is 60 bytes but here we have 15 bits so here each bit represents 4 bytes so 15 into 4 15 into 4 is nothing but 60 each bit represents 4 bytes so likewise here what is the minimum minimum size here 20 bytes so 20 by 4 is nothing but 5 so how we can represent 5 in binary notation 0 1 0 1 so what is 0 1 0 1 5 so 5 into 4 is nothing but 20 bytes so here the size of the header length ranges from 5 to 15 5 to 15 here each bit is represented in terms of 4 bytes 4 bytes so here what is the size of the header length 4 bits so 4 bits means we have maximum 4 ones 4 ones means 15 in decimal notation 15 into but here what is the maximum size here 60 bytes so 15 into 4 means 60 whereas what is the minimum size here this is 20 so 20 by 4 means 5 so 0 1 0 1 2 15 so 5 to 15 so this is the size of the header length next to 6 bits are reserved bits so these bits are useful for future purpose next we have 6 flags 6 control flags the first flag is SYN. SYN stands for synchronization. It is useful for establishing the connection. Let the source host wants to establish a connection with destination host. Then the source source will, stand, will send SYN segment. Then the source host will set SYN flag to 1. SYN flag to 1. So setting SYN flag to 1 means source wants to establish connection with destination let destination also wants to establish connection with source then destination also sends sin segment to the sender so this sin segment specifies that destination host also interested to establish the connection with the sin so that is about sin flag so if sin flag is set to one then it specifies that it wants to establish connection with other host 
acknowledgement if acknowledgement flag is set to one then receiver sends an acknowledgement to the sender likewise sender can also sends acknowledgement to the receiver so after receiving the sin segment receiver has to provide some acknowledgement to the sender so for that purpose acknowledgement flag will be set to one next one is push psh it is useful for sending the data so let the sender wants to send a byte to the receiver or sender wants to send a segment to the receiver then this psh flag push flag will be set to one so push stands for pushing some data to the receiver next one is urg urg stands for urgent flag if urg flag is set to one then it specifies that segment contains some urgent data so that urgent data has to be handled immediately whereas here we have urgent pointer which is of size 16 bits urgent pointer specifies urgent data byte that byte information that i that byte address that urgent data byte address will be specified with the help of the urgent pointer which is of size 16 bits next we have rst rst stands for reset connection so let there is some problem let there is an error in the connection then the sender can sense rst connection to the receiver so after receiving that uh, that command that flag immediately receiver reset the connection resetting the connection so whenever rst flag is set to one then the corresponding connection will be reset next one is fin fin stands for finishing let sender don't want to send any data now let sender uh, doesn't have any data to transmit now so sender wants to terminate its connection with receiver then the sender can send fin segment to the receiver so the connection between sender to receiver is terminated now let the receiver also wants to terminate its connection with client then receiver also send fin segment to the client so here all these are nothing but flags so the, those flags will, values will be set to one if we want to use those flags next window size so here the window size is of size 16 bits this window size can also be called as receiving window size mainly receiver will set the window size after setting the window size receiver will informs that window size information to the sender so now sender can also agrees that information so now sender sender can also send data according to the size of the window here the maximum window size is 16 bits next to checksum which is of size 16 bits we know that checksum is useful for error control for error detection checksum is used so just like data link layer here also we can use checksum for error detection for error control next already we have seen about urgent pointer it contains that byte information of the urgent data that urgent data byte address next options so it is useful for specifying some optional information so it is not compulsory it is optional so here the size ranges from 0 to 40 bytes suppose if options information maximum size is 40 bytes then we can say that tcp header size is this size is 20 bytes so 20 plus 40 means 60 bytes so this is about uh, tcp header format 